All right, we are back once again in Animal Revolt Simulator, and folks, we have the ultimate showdown. So if you guys missed the first episode of this series, we crowned a grand champion. Siren Head is currently the toughest creature, but today, we're gonna defeat him. We've got a grand army in the city set up, ready to go. They've got some backup, which includes dinosaurs and the great Goro the Giant, which you guys said this is like one of the strongest default units in the game. So if all else fails, we're gonna have to create something that can take down the mighty Siren Head. Might have to create our own little creature and put some armor on it and maybe some extra weapons. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start this fight. Oh, here comes Siren Head. He's gonna start destroying the city. And oh, he's charging through, but they're opening fire. Oh, this looks amazing. Wait, this is actually working. And oh, you know, I like how the units that are defending the area actually did like more damage than the uh, Siren Head currently did. You know, it's fine. He's getting hit with missiles and wait, are we gonna lose Siren Head already? Oh, dude, they're doing so much damage to him. Look at that. They're eating his knees. Oh, boy. Okay, this is going to be close. Wait, where's the Goro Giants? What are they doing? Oh, one's just kind of hanging out. Oh, they're both hanging out over here. Uh-oh, Siren Head's going to go back into the city. Oh, it's an intense fight. Who's going to win? Oh, there we go. The Goro, the Giants are in. They're actually fighting, and Siren Head's getting pelted by missiles. This is actually working. Like, I feel like besides the whole fact they probably killed, like, 10,000 people over there, this is working. All right, so who do we think is going to win here? If you think Siren Head's going to win this first fight, hit that thumbs up button. And if you think he's going to lose this first fight, hit the thumbs up button. Uh-oh, what's happening here? Oh, no, another one of the Giants is down. Man, Siren Head is so tough. And, oh, he's going for the other two. They're kind of stuck on all the debris in the city. Oh, this isn't going to be pretty. But man, it's the armor. It's got so much armor. It doesn't have many weak points. I feel like its knees are weak and maybe some of these exposed parts, but yeah. Oh no, this isn't good at all. Uh oh, uh, okay. Yep, nope. Uh, we might need to uh, maybe uh, make another army here because I feel like they're about to lose. Uh oh, the last giant's down. Oh no. It's just these couple people trying to defend the base. I would probably poo myself if I saw that coming. Folks, I think it's officially over. There's like five people left inside the fort. The city's completely destroyed, and I think Siren Head has won. So we're going to come back to this battle towards the end of the episode, and we're going to try to either create a unit or create an army that we think can finally defeat Siren Head, and we can crown a new grand champion. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into some more crazy battles. Alright, so there has been an update for this game and we have a new unit called the Hellhound. Check this thing out. Also, we totally have to scale this thing up to where it's massive. Holy man, that is one mean looking unit. What the heck? Like it already looks like it's weaponized. We could totally add more stuff. Maybe this is what defeats Siren Head. I have a feeling we can create the ultimate unit, but first we need to do some testing. Like the default Hellhound, how strong is it? So we're gonna delete you little boy here and we're gonna turn this back to the 1.0. And we're gonna do something horrible. Let's get a bunch of these bold billies and see how strong this Hellhound is. Here we go. All right, oh no, it blows fire out. You've gotta be kidding me. Wait, so if we scale that up, does the fire get bigger? And oh, it's just ripping apart the people. Holy man. Okay, is the Hellhound the new OP unit? I don't know. Okay, so we got rid of the humans. I feel like maybe we should give it a more worthy opponent. Let's try the T-Rex here. So let's go T-Rex. This thing's big. This will totally work, right? Here we go. Boom. All right, get to fighting. Oh, oh, the T-Rex and its jaws. Oh, it's just got a hold of its head. Uh, oh, but the spikes though. I think the T-Rex might actually be stuck on it. Oh, the spikes are going through the jaw of the T-Rex, but... Wait, did the T-Rex? Oh. Okay, so the Hellhound isn't that OP. The, the big T-Rex still is able to defeat it. But I still have faith in this unit. Like, it's already got built-on weapons, basically. And it's got a flamethrower for a mouth. Okay, so maybe we should scale this thing up and just see what happens. Does it make it stronger, or do we have to actually adjust the, uh, the hit points for it? And we've got a battle here, okay? Uh, what's... Wait, what's happening here? It's like he's trying to chew on him, but he can't figure out how to do it. Uh, all right, so the T-Rex has got his uh, little leg. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to push him off the map. 
What the heck? Hellhound. I thought you were stronger than that. What? Okay, you know, maybe he's just big and clumsy. Okay, so we need to give him weapons. Okay, so we have our massive hellhound. Let's go ahead and add some stuff to it. What if we added these big tentacles? Like, that's kind of creepy, actually. Hold on, let's match the skin and... Dude, that's so cool. Uh-oh. Might have made him a heavy boy. Hold on, it's fine. We need to balance him out here. Throw one over here. Might need to add some butt weight to it. Uh, here we're gonna add a couple in the bag. Hold on, butt weight and clunk. And I feel like these tentacles are too big. Can it even move around right now? Oh, we might have balanced it. Uh, something's wrong with our hellhound. So what if we added just like two shoulder-mounted missile launchers? Like that looks cool. Uh, we can add a butt one too. It's gonna be like its butthole. And butthole missile launcher. Three, two, one, clunk. Well, that's just weird looking, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. So it's got three missile launchers. You know, I feel like we should add something to the top of its head. Would another missile launcher work? I mean, we could go with uh, maybe a harpoon, but I don't know if you can get through Siren Head's armor. So maybe the piercers won't work. Uh, the only weak spot's right around its legs. Here, let's mount a machine gun to it. I like how the machine gun's like ginormous. Holy man. Well, let's put that right there. And now I feel like covering it in armor is gonna be our best bet. We gotta remember it does have the flamethrower too. Okay, so we have Spiky Boy here. So I didn't completely cover it in armor yet because I like the uh, the look of it. And I'm gonna make it go up against a couple other armies real quick. And then we'll have it face off against Siren Head. I feel like this is gonna be a strong one here, folks. All right, so there's a really fun unit called the Poojectile Gorilla. So I think it flings poo. Oh, that looks amazing. All right, so let's get the group of them and let's get a uh, Berserker group. So maybe this will be the front line and the archers are in the back. And then let's go ahead and get a guru, but we're gonna actually scale this one up. That way it's similar to the, oh dear. Okay, it's quite a bit bigger than the hellhound. This is fine. Okay, so let's hope our hellhound can actually defeat these. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some poo getting flung. Look at that. Okay, so what is, wait, our hellhound's too heavy on the front, I think. We need to add some butt armor to it. Uh, by the way, it's butt missile launchers actually working. And wait, where did the other giant go? I don't get what's happening. Uh, oh, the berserkers are right below its feet right now. It's just kind of tiptoeing over them. Okay, wait, where did the uh, where did the giant one go? Did he just fly off? I think he flew off the map. So I think the hellhound's gonna win. Also, the hellhound might be shooting itself in the back of the head, but it does have armor there, so I think we're good. This is funny looking. Look how it's just kind of balancing itself on the front. So definitely armor in the back is what we're gonna need. I think these uh, apes are proving to be just more annoying than anything. Uh oh, are the poo flingers gonna be able to do anything? Wait, is that explosive poo? Wait, it just poops right in its hand and flings it. That's so gross. Okay, come on, take it down. All right, I feel like this is gonna be an easy win here for the hellhound. But we do see what we need to do. We need to add a lot of back armor to it. By the way, apparently the Goro Giant doesn't do good when it's scaled up all the way because yeah, it just fell over backwards. Okay, so old Spiky Boy here needs some more armor. So let's go ahead and scale up the armor. So I could put some smaller armor on there and maybe fill in a lot of the gaps. I feel like that's something we're gonna have to do, but we need to add some back armor real quick. Hmm, where else could Siren Head really do damage? I think the front. So if we cover the face with the small armor, so say we scale it down, uh, we can probably give it enough here. Okay, so we've added some armor to our Hellhound army, and you know what? I wanna try to defeat this thing. I know it's gonna be impossible, but I can put myself down. Like we can put a FPS avatar, and we can be the avatar. So if we give ourselves some weapons here, is this gonna work? I think I need something big. What's a, a pulse blaster? Let's get a, one of those and a grenade launcher out and make sure we have plenty of uh, ammo here for it. Now I am gonna need a bit of backup here. So we'll have our commandos on the front line. Uh, they're gonna provide some support and then we'll have our Rocky boys back here. All right, I think this is gonna work. All right, here we go. Ooh, the I didn't even get to, oh no. So our hellhound didn't do very good there. 
Okay, so that's not good at all. So I didn't even get a chance to be in the first person. We can see her hellhound just isn't that strong. Now this kind of brings up the question, how much HP are they giving some of these creatures like Siren Head? Uh, I'm not sure there's a way to make this hellhound strong enough besides just completely covering it in armor and then making its HP at the max. Huh, this idea might be flawed, but we could spawn in multiple hellhounds. That's still a thing. But what if we made just a huge hellhound army? Like, could we defeat Siren Head this way? Also, I'm totally going to go ahead and spawn first person on this one. So I kind of want to join the fight here. I kind of want to just be on the hellhound side. So we spawned in a bunch of commandos over there. And we're going to see what happens. So let me go ahead and get my unit back out. Yeah, the last fight just didn't last long enough. I couldn't even do the FPS mode. All right, here we go. We are now first person. Okay, so I've got a uh, little pulse rifle here. And oh, look at that. We can actually full-blown fight in these. And this is so epic looking from down here. Come on. Let's defeat the humans. And oh, don't we get stepped on here by the hellhounds. Okay, that is insane looking. So... I think there's a chance spawning in that many might actually be able to defeat Siren Head. I think we're almost ready to go into the fight. So like I said, if you guys have any custom battles you want to see, any ideas, comment down below. But let's head over to the, uh, the battle arena. Okay, so we have our Siren Head. Let's go and get our spiky boys. We could get in on the fight here if we wanted to be on the ground. But let's watch from the sky first. So how many spiky boys we have? We have six of them. Let's go ahead and go with eight here. Can we finally defeat the grand champion, Siren Head? Here we go. Three, two, one, start. All right, so they're lighting him up, but look at the armor. Like, okay, I'm seeing a little bit of blood. Oh, wait a minute. They're pushing him back purely on the, uh, on the machine guns there. Oh, okay, so it might just take a completely OP army to defeat Siren Head, but I think it might actually happen here. He can't even fight back right now. By the way, the other hellhounds, they're over this. They're just going to go that way. Are they even killing it right now? Or are they just eating them? And Oh, oh, this is kind of violent looking. Yeah, they're just firing down and trying to chew on them. It's kind of weird that they're not using their, uh, their flamethrowers, though. Like, why are you not using the flamethrower mouth? Dude, they're trying to chew them apart. Uh, they're not getting through that much, though. Siren Head just has way too much armor. So, Hellhounds, while spawning in a lot, you could definitely defeat Siren Head, but maybe we should go ahead and make it fair and spawn in just one. Pretty sure this is where we die. Here we go. Okay, so is the machine gun enough to keep Siren Head back? No, one machine gun is not enough, but he's got a bunch of head armor here. Oh, and he still took down Siren Head. It's kind of working, but you got to watch. Siren Head's got really, really sharp... Uh, feet and then he's got the little punchers there. Hold on. He's just firing down in them. They're pushing each other back here This is still epic looking, you know, I still wonder can you defeat siren head with a human army? Like what if I just spawned a bunch of the rocket people that way? It's just a constant barrage Some of those got to get through the armor right now. Oh, no, the hellhounds getting stabbed. Oh Man Yep, this definitely isn't gonna work. Oh Siren head's got him on his side. He's gonna push him off the map here. We should have added some more uh, stabby things for the Hellhound, even though Siren Head's armor is extremely hard to get through. Oh, he's still fighting. The uh, The missile launchers are starting to go off, but I don't... Yeah, they are making contact. I thought maybe they were missing. You know, he's got a really big weak point on the back here. You see that exposed part? Like, that'd be the only way to take him out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe... Uh-oh, wait. Siren Head's kind of glitching out. I feel like something just got maybe shifted over on the armor. Could this be? Oh, oh no. We're getting backed up here. Wait, Siren Head's falling back. Oh, it's just an epic struggle. What's going to happen? Wait, he's not going to fall off. Oh, he's going to fall off. Oh, he's not going to fall off. <gasps> Pull him down. Pull. Oh, all right. Yeah, he's just, he's too OP. Okay, I got an idea. Last thing to try with Siren Head. This might be one of our permanent grand champions. We can always pull them out in later episodes, but I do want to check out some of the other prefabs and also make some of our own. But we got to try it. So if we go to modern humans and we have the rocket people, how many of these does it take to defeat Siren Head? Like we got to get an epic amount. So Siren Head's basically got to stomp on all these people in order to defeat them. 
So is this enough? 75 units. Here we go. Oh, boy. Hey, you guys might start turning. Oh, they're blowing themselves up. What is happening right now? Wait, look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. So, oh. Oh, our original fight's over in the background. I was like, wait, where did the Hellhound come from? Uh, it's fine. Wait, can the human army actually do it? Can they defeat? I like how they blow themselves up. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. But why do you guys blow yourselves up, Han? Han, they're still pushing them. There's only like five of them left right now. Come on, boys. You got this. Open fire. Oh, why did they go straight up and almost straight back down? Oh, what the heck is happening? Oh, my game is lagging. Uh-oh. Wait. Did the Rocket Boys just defeat Siren Head? I think he's about to fly off the map. He's glitching out. Oh, no. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, and he's still alive. Oh, it, my frame rate has tanked. What is happening right now? I feel like we broke something. Oh, and they're going in for another shot here. This could be it. Can they do it? Oh, he's glitching back this way, though. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, my frame rate's back. And... Oh! Oh, and it's gone again. <laughs> yeah, his armor's twisted up or something. And it's got the whole ragdoll just going crazy. Uh-oh. He's getting close once again. Is this going to be it? And... Oh, big shot here. Big shot! Oh! <gasps> There he goes! You gotta be careful. Oh, then they blew themselves up. Congratulations. The rocket guys actually did it here. Yep, and then you see the battle going on in the background. So, rocket guy army was a little OP, but we had to do something here. But if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, future combinations, let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.